good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamans. And today, I'm only doing a short episode because I'm a little bit poorly. You can probably hear my voice. I'm a little bit scratchy and coughy and horrible, and it's not very nice. But I've needed to just get a video out to you because I wanted to show you what the update since the last one, which if you remember was the Iron Farm and the Villager Breeder, I wanted to show you what we've done since then. So it's only going to be a little video, but we have done some stuff and I just wanted to share it with you. So let's get over there now. Now, if you remember, I said to you that I was trying to collect loads of iron and loads of gold from the Iron Farm and the Gold Farm because I wanted to be able to um, create a load of rails and that's exactly what I've looked to do. Mm -hmm. Gotta go these so noisy. You're such a noisy lot of animals you look at you little piggy bouncing up and down. And so what I've done over here is I've created a little minecart thing. Now this clearly is not a minecart station. This is just what I've done so far. I've not actually done it obviously but the minecart can you see look it goes all the way underneath the bridge in fact, I'm going to come around and you'll see it much better from this other side. Hang on a minute. Let's get on there. Give, give me a minute. Hang on. Hang on. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Oh, ow. We're going here. We're going here. Ow. There we go. There we go. So I'm going to stand on this. Hope nothing eats my face. You're not going to eat my face, are you, sheep? You sure? You're looking at me funny. All right, then. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? I've built um, a track that goes all the way along. And I've lit it up in the hope that nothing spawns on it. And I've t I, I don't think it, I've kind of walked along it. And I think we are eight plus all the way along. But it goes all the way along from this part of the base, all the way along. Can I say all the way along any more times? And it comes to the other end and the other end being the uh, mate space. So that's what we're going to do. And as a result, coming up, bouncing up, bouncing up. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Have I got to kill you? If you insist. There we go. That's obviously too dark a spot. Not happy about that. I'd have thought the noise of those blooming animals would have scared you away. They're so loud. They're hurting my head. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go... Actually, all joking aside, that means that we've got some areas there. There's a creeper walking through my village. Go away. I got it. Bang. Straight in. How about that? We like that. It's straight in. Um, I need to do some lighting of the peninsula. There are some dark areas that I'm not so happy with. Got him as well. There are some dark areas that I'm not so happy with. And uh, as a result, I'm going to have to light it up, which is going to mean quite a lot of building. So over the next couple of episodes, I think I'm going to focus on building some bits up around. Look, they just keep coming. For goodness sake. Go away. I don't want to play today. I, d I don't want to play today. What happens if you try and shoot an Enderman? You can't shoot an Enderman. Oh, well, actually, I could do with an Enderman. Shall we see if we can't if we can't do him? Because, I actually, I need an Enderman because I want to get Ender Pearls. So I'm going to have a go at you. Bang. Where you gone? Gotcha. Have you left me a pearl? Did you give me a pearl? No? Where are you? I've not killed you yet. I know I haven't. Where are you? I gotta fudge your little endermany. Where you gone? Have you have you just bolted it? I didn't kill you, did I? I didn't think I actually killed you. Oh, that's dull. I didn't even get ender pearl. That's a bit dull and rubbish. Oh well, never mind. Anyway, so stop getting distracted, man. I did get an ender pearl. There it is. I've got an ender pearl. Now I'm trying to collect these up for obvious reasons, and we'll go into those in a future episode. But. What I am going to do is I'm going to stop wandering around. I'm going to get into this minecart and we're going to go for a ride. So let's do that now. And it's going to go all the way down and across the water. So now I don't have to walk along the water, along the bridge. I can just ride along the bridge. And it takes me all the way to the other side. Let's get going. And here we are up at the other side. And... There we go. So again, I've not put a proper little minecart hub, transport hub thing there. I've just put a couple of, lobbed a couple of bits of uh, dirt on top of each other with button because it works just as well, doesn't it? So that's, whoa, here we go. I don't want you blowing me up. So get away from me. Hi, oh, creepers. Creepers are my absolute unfavouritest thing. I really, really don't like them at all because they just 
always want to blow up my face. So yeah, so that's that's the, the whole point. Now this isn't because I'm lazy. I just want to point this out, dear viewer. It's not because I'm a lazy little avo. This is because I want to be able to transport villagers, specifically villagers, across to the other side. I keep dotting around because I'm worried that something is going to just shoot you because you get any more. Oh no, you got down the tree. There you go. I like you better that way. Um, that tree's probably going to catch fire now, isn't it? No, it might not. It might not. Um, I'm just dotting around because I don't want anything to eat my face. So I'm ducking and diving and dodging like some mad thing. Anyway, so this, yeah, this is to... Stop, I'm so distracted. This is to transport villagers to the actual hub of the village. Because what I want to do eventually is I want to be able to have a... Um, a villager breeder over there mm -hmm. so i need to, need to transport a couple of villagers and then also an iron farm because they are in the spawn chunks that means no matter what i do in the world that iron farm will continue to produce iron for me because the spawn chunks always stay um spawned that's terrible english they always stay spawned the spawn chunks so what i want to do is i want to have an iron farm in the spawn chunks as well as my other iron farm that's over there somewhere and that way it's all good and I get loads more iron because I'm going to need to do quite a lot more rails to expand the, the nether um, system that I've got going, obviously, and also the other bits and pieces as well. Anyway, whilst we're here, should we do a mate space? So, to, look, the sun's just started to come up now and we are more safe, shall we say, more safe because there are fewer things that are going to eat my face and I'm always happier if there are fewer face-eating things around. So we're coming in for our episode 22. And you can see the main space actually hasn't got that many podiums left. We're going to have to expand this little puppy soon, aren't we? And make it more basey. I don't know what I just said. Anyway, so today we have someone that has been a massive support to the channel. Sending great ideas in, great thoughts, great advice, great support. I am not the world's greatest Minecrafter. I know half of what most of you guys know that is just a fact but i do quite enjoy doing it and you guys absolutely bringing more knowledge into my head that i can then put into other builds and stuff so and this person is no exception he's given me all kinds of extra info that i've not known before he told me and i'm very very grateful to you martin haller martin thanks it's an absolute pleasure when i see you in the comments because i know Nine times out of ten. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to learn something new. So I'm really grateful for that, Martin. And thank you for keep commenting and watching all the videos. Especially the older videos as well, which is always a pleasure when people go back and watch the older videos. Especially like Angel in the background there. You can see him from episode 20. Angel's watching literally my entire back catalogue. I'm hugely, hugely, hugely grateful for that. But Martin, this is your episode. Thank you very much, mate. I'm very grateful. And welcome to the exclusive club. That is the mate space. Let's crack on and see whether or not we're actually going to do anything else because I can feel my voice is starting to go. No, it's no good. I'm going to have to give up because my voice is going to go. I can't talk much more, which is really quite odd for me not being able to talk. What a weird concept. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry it's such a little short one, but hopefully it makes sense that I can then talk more in a future video, which would be great. Yes, because I know you love me talking, don't you? If you've enjoyed it, please do hit the like button. It'd be great to know that you've enjoyed it, even though I've been croaky all the way through it. And also, if you haven't done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.